Pisces, what's up? How's it going? So this is your love reading for February 20th through the 28th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, sorry I'm so late, guys. It's going to be sporadic for a while. I have a lot going on, and I'm actually moving in about a week or two. So I'm going to try to be consistent after that. We'll see. Anyway, so I laid out your first six already. Your overall energy for the week of the 20th through the 28th. And it's a weird it's weird the way that I started it too. It's just because I'm so behind that I didn't want to wait until, you know, next week. Um, so we're starting on a Wednesday. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Your overall energy, the eight of swords, air energy, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with one, but I don't think that that's what this means. I think you're just really up in your head about something. This is a mental prison card. Um, you may feel like you're bound to a situation or, just stuck in your head, you know, real anxious, real stressed, but whatever it is that has you feeling this way, it is all in your head. It's mental. It's not, it's not real. You're not really stuck in any situation. Um, if that's what you're feeling or the stress that you're feeling, it's all in your head basically. Okay. I don't know what that is. We'll clarify, but that's where you're at. Now, your recent past, you have the King of Cups. This is your energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign, but this is probably just your energy. So, your recent past is, you know, you being your whole self. You're in your element. It's, you're warm, you're compassionate, you're loving, you're loyal, um, emotionally stable, you know, expressing your emotions or the other person is. All of this can always go both ways, too. It's you know, you or someone that you're dealing with. And when I do these general love readings, they're not specifically for singles or couples. So it can, it can go either way. Just take it however it resonates for your situation. If it doesn't resonate, then don't try to force it to. It's not possible for this to resonate for every single Pisces out there. Um, also, Pisces, I'm doing you guys first because you had the most views last time. So thanks a lot, guys. All right, your present energy is the ten of pentacles this is awesome right this is stable this is way way stable way committed this is happy home happy marriage possibly definitely a committed relationship so you have this eight of swords really anxious stressed energy in your overall but your present looks awesome so that's what I mean it's all in your head whatever you're worried about it's not actually real like every this this is really awesome everything couldn't be better in your present energy this is also earth energy virgo taurus capricorn if you're dealing with one you don't have to be um but it's definitely stable it's definitely committed all right okay now your immediate future you have the hermit this is virgo you could have a virgo in your life um or you could just be taking a time out to reflect um not sure why not sure why you're so stressed when everything seems to be perfectly fine that you feel like you need to just kind of go within and process and reflect on the situation maybe try to figure out why you're so stressed over something that isn't really stressful um I don't know. We'll clarify. Your outcome, guys. Once again, another awesome relationship card. You have the Ten of Cups. This is a fairy tale ending. Look at it. It's awesome. It's probably one of the best cards that you can get in a relationship spread. Um, so you have the Ten of Pentacles in your present. You have the Ten of Cups in, in your outcome. It doesn't get any better than this ending in an outcome position, in a relationship spread. It really doesn't. Um, everything's harmonious. Everybody's getting along great. You know, again, water energy, you as well as Cancer and Scorpio. So you guys are awesome right here. You're just stuck up in your head for some reason. So let's clarify. Why the Eight of Swords for Pisces, February 20th through the 28th in love? Why the Eight of Swords for Pisces? Huh. Four of Swords? What's up, guys? Are you just getting over something? Um, okay, so Four of Swords, more air energy again. This is needing to take a break. Um, 
after you've been hurt, like the Three of Swords is, you know, kind of the heartbreak card. Four of Swords comes later. You're not, it's not like you're devastated, but you're hurt over something. You need to take a break, and that's where you're at right now. You're stuck up in your head. You need to just lay it down for a minute, figure out what the hell's going on. If you're stuck up in your head, if you're stressed, if you have anxiety because of something that happened in your past that has you maybe not trusting this situation, that's probably possible. Um, that would be why you have the hermit. Just go and, you know, process whatever it is that you haven't healed from because there's definitely something here and I don't think that it's your current situation. I think it's something that already happened to you that has you... Um, kind of looking at things not the way that they actually are, the way that maybe you expect them to be. All right. Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles for you in your present. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, right away. Where did it go? Okay. Seven of Cups. <laughs> you're confused, guys. You either have a lot of options and you're not sure about committing or... You're confused um, and I think it's because you know you have this anxiety over shit that you've already been through and now you have this actual real commitment in your present and you're like what the fuck is this is this real I don't know I don't think it's real because it hasn't been real before um, but it looks real to me guys you just need to work on Work on your past issues. That's what it looks like to me. Or if it's you just have a lot of options and you're not sure if you want this commitment or not because this is commitment. Whoever you're dealing with wants commitment or you do. Um, if it's them and maybe you're not sure because you have a lot of options, well, I mean, that's okay. That's up to you. You know, don't rush anything either. All right, let's clarify the hermit. Why do we have the Hermit in your immediate future? Why do we have the Hermit? That's like eight cards. Sorry, guys. Why do we have the Hermit in your immediate future? Why do we have the Hermit in your immediate future? Clarify the Hermit for Pisces. Clarify the Hermit for Pisces. Ah. Death. Um, okay. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be, but the Hermit with the Death card, guys, are both Major Arcana. Um, now, Death, it could be an ending. You might just say, this is too much. I'm not ready for this. I need to end this. I'm going to go within. I need to end this because I just, I'm not ready, right? I have too many things that I need to heal from. I'm not ready, so I need to end this before it goes too far. That could be. Um, I am feeling that for some of you. Otherwise, I think it's just a transformation. I think you need to go within to transform yourself and your inner issues so that you can deal with this potential genuine commitment because it looks great. I mean, I think you're just scared of it. All right. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces in the outcome. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces and the outcome. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Pisces. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, guys. You're really not sure if you want to be single or in a relationship, are you? <laughs> All right, so the Nine of Pentacles, more Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is generally my single lady card, but she doesn't have to stay single. She just can be single, right? You see everything that she has. She has everything that she could possibly want or need, and she has it all by herself. So she's fully capable of not being in a relationship and being completely content. But she can also be in a relationship, you know? It's either or you know it doesn't really matter she's going to be good either way so with that with the ten of cups i think you guys are just kind of like ah 
do I want to stay single? Do I want to just date people? Or do I actually want this legit commitment? I think you're just, you don't know. You're confused. All right, I'm going to grab you two advice cards and then we'll see if we need to clarify anything else, okay? So your two advice cards, you have the Eight of Cups reversed. So you're definitely considering walking away from something. This is a do not walk away. <laughs> All right, it's reversed. It's telling you to stick around. Stick it out. You're not going to be disappointed. All is going to be well. Just hold out a little bit longer. You know, go within if you need to. Heal whatever you need to do. Uh, because look what came out with it the four of wands guys this is the marriage card it's celebration it's also my 11 11 card see the wands make an 11 11 um it's complete stability so to have the four of wands with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups holy shit guys this is an awesome relationship um if you can just get past you know your fear, your confusion. This, I mean, it's really awesome. So I'm going to just pull a clarifier for your four of swords and try to find out what has you feeling that way. What is it that you need to heal? So clarify the four of swords for Pisces. Oh, okay. Well, it's clarified by strength. This is a Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be, but this is just kind of a confidence card, right? You need to be confident. You need to get out of your head, heal your issues, be confident. You are strong enough to handle a relationship. I don't think that you think that you are, but you are. You just have some shit that you need to heal from and some confusion that you need to clear up. All right. Let's clarify death for you. Clarify death for Pisces. Clarify death for Pisces in the immediate future. Clarify death for Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. All right, so this is an offer of stability, right? That's what's happening here. All of this is stable. It's just you're not stable internally or you don't think that you are um, so just take it slow all right this is very slow moving energy because it's so stable the knight of pentacles he doesn't jump right into anything it's also earth energy by the way Virgo Taurus Capricorn if that means anything to you um, anyway he doesn't jump right into anything. He moves very, very slow because he wants to make sure he knows what he's getting into. So I think that that's, that's how you're going to have to be because of your fear and your confusion. You're going to have to just go within, transform your issues, you know, heal yourself, get your confidence back, and move really slow because this all looks awesome. The only reason that it doesn't at all here is because you don't have the confidence you're scared there's some shit that you need to heal from um but otherwise it looks great guys so good luck take care